You guys, they look so cute. Look at that, oh my God. Okay guys, we're gonna sit in here and do our little taste test, all right? So get the picture out. Okay, so first one that I'm gonna try is key lime pie. Oh, I love key lime. Mmm, oh my God. That's the delicious. crunch on that. I love key lime pie. I'm only gonna take a bite of each right now. Okay, next one is gonna be lemon sunshine. It's called just, it just looks like a regular cake donut. Mm, I don't think there's lemon. Oh no, it's cinnamon. No, it's cinnamon. cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Mm -hmm. It's a regular cake donut, or a mini donut basically for that one. Mm. This one's the cloud. I think it's just powdered sugar. Mm. It is just powdered sugar, but ma'am, those have such a nice fresh crunch to all of them. Okay, this next one is called Orange Dream. Mm. That's delicious. Oh my god. It's got like the perfect amount of like tangy and sweet. They hit the nail on the head. That's like drinking a drink at a bar. But like you know, like an orange cream sickle drink. Mm. Mm. Ew, that was good, man. Okay. We're gonna do the lemon one next. A little sugary, like, mm -hmm. they've got quite a bit of sugar on the top of it. It's not bad. I it's, mean, it's not bad, but. It's not as good as like the key. It could be better. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that I could make it any better, <laughs> but. You have palate refresher. What do you want to do next? Butterfingers? I was thinking raspberry lemonade since we already have like yeah, that taste come up. Okay, this one's raspberry lemonade. The frosting kind of came off of this mm. one. <gasps> that one's really good. Mm-hmm. You guys. That's like literally getting a lemonade drink and putting like raspberry sauce in it. Mm. Chef's cast. That's a Butterfinger one that we're gonna do. Now that one is a completely different vibe, but. So good. It's really good. Last one we got to try is this one just glaze and sprinkles. So I'm assuming it's probably just like birthday cake. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's all right. It's like me. Overall, the key lime orange and the lemonade, oh, those are that, ma'am. Mm -hmm. The rest of them are still really good, but just a little less, you What's know? Your number mm -hmm. one? My number one is definitely the key lime. Same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, he <laughs> ate it already. It's I'm just, gone. I've got, I took a bite out of every single one and I'm trying to like savor it, so. Yeah, I don't want to eat them all right away. <laughs> all right, so we got this from one of our local um, barbecue shops. It looks pretty freaking good. And yes, I got coleslaw. I took the top bun off. There was a top bun. Okay, you guys. It is a nice hot freaking day. And I'm going to make us a drink, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take some nice honey. And I got this honey from my beautiful friend Tristan. Um, she's amazing. So um, I'm just gonna like take my finger and do this. And just get a little bit of honey on your finger. And then rim the glasses, all right? Rim the top of the glasses here with the honey. You don't gotta be perfect about it, all right? Just get it on the rim. All right, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a bowl with sugar in it, all right, or a plate, that works, and just kinda get some sugar on that honey that you just put on there. So get that on the rim, all right, because we're making a sugar rim. So that's what that'll look like. So now that we got our sugar rim, sugar everywhere, and honey everywhere, now we're gonna take a nice ice cube, all right? I'm gonna take one ice cube, in each glass, okay? Or whatever they are. Yeah, glass. And then, so 
I like to measure with my heart, so I'm just gonna do till I feel is correct. So I'm gonna just maybe just cover the ice cube sort of thing. Okay, that maybe was a little too much. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, this is a lemon wine with natural cucumber and jalapeno flavors. It's called Summer Heat, absolutely amazing. Um, and then, so I made some tea, some sun tea, and I'm gonna use just a little bit of this just to give it some color, all right? This isn't so much for the flavor as it is just for some pretty color. It's a hibiscus mint uh, tea, all right? And I just made that with hibiscus, mint leaves, and some stevia. It's kind of tart though, but it'll be fine with the liquor. And then I'm gonna take some tonic water and I'm gonna put the tonic water right on top and fill it till the top, all right? And then for the last little step, we gotta go outside to do it. Okay, I've got the drinks secure here on the porch. We just gotta go right over here really quick, all right? We gotta go take some beautiful little flowers to uh, garnish them with. So I think I'm gonna use this little guy right here for one of them. And this one for one of them. Oh, and I suppose Pansy's violas, oh, by the way. Make sure you're using some uh, plants that are edible while you do this. And you just pluck them right on top. Alright? Beautiful. Maybe not looking like you like it. Did you not see my face? I want to just. Mmm. that's good. Mm-hmm. Find some high Ming Yang. Something Ming Yang. Ming Yang um, high gourmet. At high Really good, you guys. 